Good day, YouTube. It's about the 24th of July, 2023. This is my uh, 2000 model year Eagle car trailer. I've um, done a couple videos on it here recently. We got the deck replaced and repainted. Those videos are on my channel. Um, we're coming up here to the tongue, we got some changes we're going to make. Um, I put this 4x4 up there years ago and I hauled a too long of a vehicle on this thing i'm gonna rip that off i mean it's just wood right take it off but <clears throat> i'd also put those couple winches on there just a couple cheap winches that i had sitting around at the time i'm gonna remove those and this piece of the unistrut was um a spare tire mount that i had done um and it needs to come off and get re just throw it away because i put a spare tire mount on the back um i've always wanted to build a better winch setup on the front of this um to winch small things up you know tractors and golf carts and mowers and things like that but i um, never really had inspiration and a really good idea but someone came and picked up a lawnmower from me here not too long ago and had a uh, uh, a, a winch on the front but it slid into like a receiver and it had different height adjustments um, he could haul uh, like the blow up boats drift boats or whatever um, and he wanted his uh, winch to be adjustable height I'm like oh, man that's a great idea that's the inspiration I was been waiting for so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take all this garbage off I'm going to come up with a piece of steel to cross this tongue and weld it on. I'm going to have a winch with that goes into a receiver here that, you know, might be a fixed position now, but I could remove the winch and, you know, like for the winter or whatever, and then put it back on when I need it. And I could come up with something different if I need to haul something tall or whatever, just, uh, or even a... Uh, if you're hauling something long, I could put something that goes into the receiver that's fairly tall that this tall item could rest on, even tall enough to go over the bed of the truck. So it gives me options if I create something like that. And on this piece of steel, I want a couple big tie downs. So if I got to winch up a real heavy vehicle, I can do that with those big D rings, okay? So I have a coffin hoist or, you know, we could rent something or whatever um, that would really take, uh, you know, these are super light duty. I need something super heavy duty that we could really winch from. I winched uh, my step van on this trailer, for example, and that was a son of a gun. Um, but there was nothing substantial up here to hook onto. And if I had one on each side, you could get two winches going, two people pulling, twice the power. Or a big electric winch or something that was left portable. I'm not mounting an electric winch to this thing. I just, uh, you know, I've seen it a million times. The winch sits out in the weather forever. It gets used like three times in five years. And the winch goes bad. The battery's never charged, etc., etc. I just want a mechanical winch on this thing to winch on the small items and to help use as tie downs. And a couple big D rings, one on each side if i have to put something you know super heavy up there and we have to get you know break out the winches so that is the plan let me show you what i got so yesterday i went out to my our local metal salvage yard and found this piece of steel um, which is perfect for laying on that tongue you can see i've already got this thing drawn out of how to cut it it was a great width the thing was fantastic so this will be the tongue on this side where it hooks up to the truck and uh, this I actually picked up at a yard sale believe it or not yesterday and it's going to go on this end I think it'll be like this okay flushed out it will weld all that solid and then onto here I've got this ridiculous drop hitch for a, like a monster truck or something. It's just something I picked up at a yard sale and uh, don't need a drop that long. 
So this is a perfect opportunity to use that. And that'll get the winch handle away from the center line or away from that piece of steel so that it has a full swing. So we'll test fit it to make sure it works good. Um, I'm toying with leaving this. I mean, it looks goofy, but it might serve a purpose one day. So I don't feel the need to take this off. I might put an eye or something in there and then this thing be rotated around and used for some other purpose. So I, you can see I've got all the components. Of my, I've done this on the cheap, actually, because that piece of steel is the only thing I've had to pay real money for, and it was, I don't know, let's say it was 15 bucks. I uh, paid five bucks for that hitch thing right here. That was a good deal. I needed one, and there it was. Um, I probably paid five bucks for this, and then I had this winch, um, which appears to be new, um, sitting, picked up at a yard sale, so I probably have $40 in the whole thing, something like that. So that's the plan. I got some cutting to do on that piece of steel. I want to go ahead and box the ends, just make it nice. Um, and we'll clean up that steel a little bit. We'll weld this on in the center. Um, I'll have to decide at what height, you know, maybe I center it, maybe I put it all the way down and flush it. I'll go fit it to the trailer a time or two, have a look at it, and see what we're going to do. Um, to bolt or w weld this winch to it, you know, it's always a good idea to bolt to it, because then you can change it when and if, if and when that thing wears out. But that's a lot of drilling, so I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that. But we'll have a look at it anyway. Um, so that's kind of the plan. I'm going to get started on some of this stuff uh, and bring you back um, when I got something going. Um, it was race night last night. I'm going to go check on Carter Patterson this morning. Um, he got uh, run into pretty hard and caved the whole side of the car in. They kicked it out pretty good. It looked good from the grandstands anyway. But... Uh, I expect he'll come out and pull the body off and clean up the car, to which I'll need to grab the body parts and pieces that are destroyed or bent or whatever, bring them back here and make them better. All right, here we go. All right, this is the biggest piece of steel I've ever cut in my evolution saw, so let's do it. Uh, here we go. Dang, that's a nice tool. All right, I am cutting out some ends for this piece of steel so we can uh, close those in. 
have it nice and neat. So just some uh, probably 10 gauge or 8 inch or something I got sitting around. So I got the long ways cut. We're going to cut these real quick. Get the other one cut. All right, I got these plates fit to the end, and we're gonna tack them in for now. We'll tack them real good, but uh, we're gonna do some other stuff on this thing so we can do final welding once we get the hitch and the tie down uh, D rings and stuff on there. So let's tack this in real quick. All right, I'll get to the side. All right, I decided uh, that that thing should be flush. Um, I had it in the center. Um, you know, it was out here ways. Didn't like the look of it at all. Thought, you know, if I could pull that hitch out, you could carry something on that tongue or, you know, carry something that extended beyond the flatbed trailer onto the tongue. And I didn't want that thing sticking up. So it just looked bad. So we got it centered, we got it square. We're gonna tack it into place. And uh, then we'll position the D-rings, we'll get those tacked into place. And then we'll go set it on the tongue of the trailer, make sure we like everything. And uh, then we'll come back in and weld it. We'll put it back on the tongue of the trailer and weld it. All right, let's tack this in. Hooking up a ground without knocking everything over. Alright. Turn my helmet on.
Okay. That's going to fall. So then, like this, and then like this. That's about a good spot. We need to clean this up. Clean up the same area, centered on that about six and a half. All right, let's clean up some steel here. Okay, we got these things set. And uh, we're gonna tack them into place. Go from there. Oops. Clean the tip. Okay, ready to begin. Let's go set this on the tongue, see what it looks like. I still haven't got that other stuff off the tongue, but we got to do that next. All right, it looks great. Um, that's the nice piece of steel, compact, not doesn't stick out, stick up, I mean. Um, these uh, eye bolts that I use on that piece of strut, below this one is a channel for wiring for the trailer. So evidently when I put that on there, I welded a nut to the tongue, which is fine. So I've loosened these jam nuts. I couldn't turn the eye bolt though. There we go. I don't mind putting the eye bolts back in. It's just one more thing to use for tie downs. Now, we gotta get this one on. Yeah. All right, let me pull the winches off of there. We'll take that piece back in and fully weld it. Let's weld this bad boy up.
All right, I got a lot of welding to do. Let me uh, get to it. All right, almost there. I'm gonna flip it up and do the bottom, or meet this side. A couple welds and let her cool. Cause that one's hot. All right. All right, flipped it up, got those welded. Um, we need to kind of shape these with a grinder, make those look good. I'm not too worried about these welds. That'll look fine. Put some paint on them. But the ends of the tube, we want them nice. See how quickly they'll clean up. It's gonna take a little bit, but we'll get her. Here we go. I'll bring you back when I have something pretty to show you. All right, guys, I don't know where I left off. It's fast forwarded to what's like the 27th or something of July now. We're just getting back to this. So I mentioned that I I was originally gonna put this on top of the trailer, but I really like this look better. And, you know, I got the angles to the tongue correct because I, you know, scribed them in. So this is where we're going to put it. So I think we're about ready to weld it in. I'm going to take this uh, just back off just being supported by that jack. Um, we'll get the paint cleaned off the frame tongue. We'll get this whole piece wire brushed so I can flip it over and make it easier to get to, uh, to do this on my back or some stupid thing. Um, so that we can get painted. In fact, we'll probably spray paint the bottom or at least get it primered. And uh, then we'll put this thing back up and then we'll weld it on. And uh, we'll make this bracket with the winch on it, and we'll call it good. All right, so uh, let's get this thing wire brushed. All right, I got it wire brushed. I threw some Rust Oleum on it uh, on the back side and the sides, whatever. It's not dry, um, and it's going to get all scuffed up. That's life. Um, we'll do the top once it's on and might brush that on all right let's get it set on the tongue of the trailer get it uh, situated and let's get it welded on let's get this thing done I have it tacked where I want it um, it's time to weld it so I've got wiring that runs through here so I'm gonna go you know about a third of the way and then cool that down uh, with some water so I don't hurt my wiring
Let me hit it with a brush real quick. Okay. Now you can look. I had to go around that nut. I'm gonna leave that nut. I'll put a little tie down or we'll leave it for something. I don't think I'll grind that weld down. It's good enough. All right, I'll do the other side. All right, that is fully welded on the other side. Um, I come up with that unique mounting position for the winch, which gets me a little farther away. Um, makes the handle crank have more clearance. And uh, I like to look pretty good. It also takes the winch, puts it up just a little bit more. Um, you know, if you're pulling something onto the trailer, it's not below the deck of the trailer. It's not in the way of this winch. It gives me way good clearance to this winch. There we go. I didn't think of that until I put this up there, um, but it looks good. So I've marked a spot here and here where to get the paint cleaned off of that piece of hitch. We'll get the finish ground off of that winch, and we're going to weld it right there. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, we have finished it up. What do you think? Looks good, doesn't it? course removable I can take it out for the winter and just store it with my hitches and uh, we need the trailer we we'll just slide her back in then the winch doesn't sit out and get all whatever it's a Harbor Freight winch rated a thousand pounds um, it would roll a small car up here no problem golf carts riding mowers tractors whatever but when we need heavy-duty I've got heavy-duty coffin hoist and stuff and then we got these big d-rings to pull from um, or a combination of the two so uh, pretty happy with it got it all painted up Just sit out here in the sun today and dry and we'll take the trailer down and wash it up and uh, put this in the done column so guys thanks for watching appreciate the comments as you know I'm answering comments every morning so if you put a comment about this or any other video uh, in the comment section I'll catch you guys in the morning thumbs up on the way out please catch you guys on the next video